Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and this subscriber sent a donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, I'll keep this as concise as possible. A few months back, I hooked up with one of my employees. We went out, and she had an amazing time. We hooked up three times, and she loved it each time. Uh, she's a squirter, so my house looked like a crime scene. She even bought her remote control vibrator to work, and I controlled it all night. Uh, I was wondering um, if you could critique my game. When we first started talking, she would text me every day, and we would flirt and, and stuff at work. I tried to keep it to a minimum, but I definitely communicated more than I think I needed to. She's younger. She's 23. I'm 28, and we both just got out of a relationship. We are very open with each other. And she tells me about the other guy she's fucking, along with her ex. I don't really care about that, nor do I give her any energy that I that would suggest I do. Recently, due to changes, we don't really see each other at work as much, and she's in school. When I do see her at work, she wants my attention, hugs, and kisses. But when I try to make plans, she's always busy and no longer is carrying the same sexual energy. I don't want this to seem like a case of the one-itis, but I do want to continue uh, hooking up with her occasionally. Do I need to charge, uh, change my vibe or behavior or just accept that the fling may have fizzled? Um, I'm not sure, only because she still always wants my attention, hugs up on me all the time, begs for kisses, and hits my phone every day. All right, so um, what you got to do is this, right? When you see that a chick is sort of like, you know, it, it seems like she's switching up or it seems like things aren't, you know, going in the same direction as it was. You know, you said you guys are hanging out, hooking up, and then all of a sudden um, you would, you know, try to make plans. And then she's saying she's always busy. And you said that it's no longer carrying the same sexual energy, right? So if you've been trying to make plans with this chick and she's always busy and everything like that, right? What you got to do is you got to start falling back and start to become more unavailable to this chick because you were saying at the same time, you know, she's, you know, she wants your attention and she's hugging all up on you and begging for kisses and she's hitting your phone every day and all these other things. Right. So the thing is, is that, you know, since you already, you know, said to her, hey, let's try to make some plans and she's also on um, busy type of stuff. It's like, all right, cool. At that point, you know, you need to let her know and say, okay, listen, hit me back or holler at me when you're actually free so we can make something happen. So now when she's, you know, interacting with you, trying to get your attention and all of that, if she's not actually, you know, saying to you, hey, I'm free this day, I'm free that day, let's make this happen. If she's not saying that, then that means she's just sort of like, you know, using you for that attention and just keeping you around, you know, in the queue until, you know, uh, I guess whatever is happening with her and the other guys is not is drying up or whatever it is. Right. But the thing you got to do is you have to sort of slowly become unavailable to her at this point. Right. Because you tried to make plans. She's saying, hey, you know, I'm busy, yada, yada, yada. Right. And she's not really getting at you you know, to say, hey, let's do this, let's do that, so the thing is, is that if this girl comes up to you, and let's say she's, you know, trying to hug up on you and all of that, and she's trying to get kisses out of you and all that other stuff, it's not saying that you can't engage in that activity, but what it is, is that you want to make sure that those activities that you're engaging in are cut short, and it gets cut shorter and shorter every time she's dealing with you. So let's say if, you know, she, you know, comes up to you and she's like, oh, hey, what's up? She's all hugging you and stuff. And you're like, oh, I'm good. You know, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you talk to her before you probably talk to her for maybe five minutes. Now you cut that down to like a minute and be like, oh, yeah, I'm good. But hey, listen, by the way, I got to uh, run around and get some stuff done. I'll holler at you later. You understand? And then you just bounce. Right. And so. You keep doing that every time she tries to get in contact with you. So let's say she texts you and she's like, oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? What's going on? And you're like, oh, I'm good. I'm chilling. And she's like, you know, how's your weekend? You'd be like, oh, yeah, my weekend's cool. Um, but listen, you know, I'm, I'm uh, running late. I got to do some stuff. I'll holler at you later. You understand? So it's like you're, you're brushing her off and you're basically becoming more unavailable every time, you know, that she's getting into contact with you. 
You see what I mean? So what happens is, is that now that she's trying to get in contact with you and she sees that you're not trying to make plans and she sees that you're sort of like cutting it short, she's going to be wondering if you are not interested anymore, right? And so if she's actually interested, what she's going to do is that she's going to bring it up. She's going to be like, oh, so what are you doing this weekend or what are you doing next Friday or whatever? And she's going to bring it up. And then when she brings that up, then you can try to make something happen at that moment. But the thing is, you want to get her to bring it up. But the way you get her to bring it up is that you slowly become unavailable. You see what I mean? And so the thing is, if she actually likes you, she actually wants to keep seeing you. Then what she's going to do is. She's going to try to set something up. And when she tries to do that, then you can make it happen. Other than that, you know, if she if she doesn't try to set something up, if she she, she uh, keeps hitting you up or texting you or calling you or whatever, but she's not trying to make anything happen, then that could mean that it's fizzling out or she's not really feeling it like she used to. Then you just charge it again. But what you want to do, what you want to do now is you want to just make sure you're falling back. You're becoming unavailable and you're waiting for her to actually try to get at you and then when she gets at you then you set the date and you make it happen all right so that's pretty much it um listen if you guys have any more questions make sure you click the link below and i'll holler at you later remember the truth is inside you peace i'm gone now before you turn off this video make sure you click the link below to get the mr locario 30 minute game session now this is a private one-on-one -on -one coaching session between me and you where we chop up game for a half an hour so make sure you click that link below to get the mr locario 30 minute game session hey what's up it's dating and life coach mr locario go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com